What's going on, guys? Oh. Just readjusting my camera really quick. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright. Uh, okay. So we're back with more uh, Fallout 3 videos. And, uh... I'm lost once again. I forgot what the hell I was supposed to be doing. Oh, that's Sock Dr. Lee. Okay. I wish they would get rid of that. Actually. Maybe they haven't gotten rid of it because maybe you can still do it. Because I remember seeing something about, like her being like a ghoul or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So let's talk to Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee? Dr. Lee? I turned down the, the music before I started the video. It's still loud as hell in my room. I don't know how it picks up on the camera. Holy shit, somebody farted in here. Uh, yeah, this is side side. Okay. So again, I apologize if you can hear my fan. Uh, it's very close to the camera, as am I. And, uh, yeah. It's another warm ass day here. Hello? You there? What are you, some kind of la- Are you by any chance for hire? Uh, it depends what exactly are we talking about here. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Say property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put hmm. this in a way you'll understand? Maybe you could All you in know dick about it. All those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, Mr. Handshakers. That's not all a robot can be. I think he means Mr. Handy. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Can you jump to the fucking point? Enough techno battle, Zimmer. How do I know his name's Zimmer? Just tell me what you want me to do. Isn't it quite clear? You are to locate my android. He must have done something. They had cell phones drastic, back in these like days. Facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. Well, this is in the future. It will be so. no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Really? I don't have any friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Look at her face. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear. I don't really care, dude. Yeah, I'll find it. Whatever. I'm afraid I've got some terror. What are you doing here, little bitch? And that's supposed to talk to strangers. You said hello to me first. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, uh, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like dark that is on the camera. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now, I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. You're a three dog in the background. We've done our work. We had no choice but to do the same. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. 
Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Yeah, well, I could probably lower this a little bit. Oops. Knocked it way off there. Hello. That's good. Alright. I think it's pretty good right there. Uh, I'm sorry, could you please tell me where he's going? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Bitch, shut up. Uh, yeah. Okay. What are you doing here? This place won't play itself. Okay. What should we do now? I guess we can start this quest. Probably won't get to it right now. But... Where's this old fart at? Abraham Washington. Yo. Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. What's missing is my ability to stay awake. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. to me and the society's collection here oh then no <laughs> not now maybe another time excellent you won't regret it i promise you imagine you are taking part in another chapter of american history i envy you I you don't. can find the declaration of independence in the ruins of the national archives In the D.C. ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Hey, it's the addict. <laughs> Got any psycho? I can really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke. I can't buy chems. My wife, Cindy, she's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. I guess his wife wears the yeah, pants in that too. relationship. Maybe I should turn on my pit boy light. <laughs> Holy shit, he has a dog. That's 
grenades. Everything looks okay here. Really? Okay. Oh. Ah. So let's head off this boat. Wait. What's up, homies? There's nobody here talking to myself. Anything good in here to steal? Oh. A locked file cabinet is locked hard. It's locked hard. Should I go to the archives or should I go look for my father? What do you guys think? Oh, you guys see that glitch? <laughs> my whole screen just freaking glitched out. Oh, who the hell killed that guy? It's probably me, huh? My bad. <laughs> oh, wait, wasn't I trying... I remember something about trying to play, like, an uh, evil character. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm very evil. Wow. I'm a fat cat. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay. I forgot all about that. Is that a glitch right there? It's glitching out, man. This wouldn't be a Bethesda game without the glitches. Okay. I don't know if I took him out already or not, but I remember some super mutants being over here. Where the smoke over here is. Right there. Let's go see if they're still there. I you just remember like certain things about this game. You know what, I'm not seeing any red markers or anything. I'm thinking I probably already took them out. But I don't see any dead bodies. That's the weird thing. I haven't looted these bags yet. At least not that one. That's a fucking dead end. Good job. Okay. There's somebody up there. 22 shotgun shells. Holy shit. See, I haven't looted this place. Talking like almost two years ago. That's how fucking long it's been. Played this playthrough. So if I was Come here, on, I didn't loot anything. Oh, okay. the caps and you've got the space it's a chick a tied up over there. What do you say? Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. When you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, we're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. Up next, we've got a public service Oh, I am a very evil character. Hey, oh, I leveled up. Holy shit. Level six. Uh, only 19 skill points? Wow. Okay. 
How about we raise our strength to 25 or better? I guess put the rest in repair? Isn't there a uh, perk? Those feral ghouls that prefer the dark dank underground, uh, they are basically mindless zombies. There it is, right there. Educated. Well, now, more skill music. points. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I'm standing in the fire. That's funny. Ooh, assault rifle. I'm standing right in front of you. Uh, Should we? Should we? Ah, fuck it. Nah, I thought she had at least something on her. Oh, well, this is probably all her shit that I just stole. Uh, that looks like a dead end, too. Alright, I need a new video. So I'm gonna save it real quick and then restart the next video.